Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Problem 7.2. This problem will be similar to problem 7.1. The state of uh, stress is shown on the element and it have been asked that use method of analysis based on equilibrium of that element and find out the stresses on shaded portion so we will select this shaded portion for our analysis purpose so first let me draw this shaded portion element and to show the stresses so now you can see there is only there is only normal stress that is acting this and this is 60 megapascal 60 i will not write megapascal uh, here there is a shear stress on this phase that is 90 and there is shear stress over here as 90 so this is the oblique phase so normal stress on oblique phase will be sigma dash and the shear stress on this oblique plane will be equal to tau dash clear so this is these are the stresses that acting on this plane so this is 60 degree so remaining will be 30 degree now i will show the same figure and uh, let the area of this oblique plane is a so this is 30 degree so this face will be equal to a sine of 30 degree and this face will be a cause of 30 degree so these are the areas clear now the uh, we will convert these stresses into force in order to apply equilibrium condition clear so this is 30 now this is this is the shear force that is acting in this direction multiply by this area so 90 multiply by this area a sine of 30 degree will give you the shear force similarly shear stress acting here that is 90 and multiply by with this area so 90 into a cause of 30 degree will be will give you shear force and normal force that is 60 megapascal so 60 multiply by this area which is equal to a cause of 30 will give you the normal force and this is the same normal stress in oblique plane and shear stress in oblique plane now we will use this figure uh, as this figure represent forces and we will apply the equilibrium condition on it so if i draw this figure correctly let me draw it as well clear so okay so this angle is 30 degree clear let me choose a marker of thickness smaller now you can see the first force that is acting vertical clear and it is like this and this force is 60 a cause of 30 degree now i will resolve this force into component in let this is your x dash and this is your y dash or you can say this is your new oblique or we can say the stress in uh, horizontal direction and in vertical direction so when we resolve this uh, let me also show the normal stress into this area is this force and shear stress tau dash into a is this this force so we will resolve this stress into two component so one in parallel to this and the second one is parallel to this so this has two component 
again you can see this force is perpendicular to this face clear and this force is perpendicular to this face and this is parallel to this so again the angle between this face and this face is 30 so definitely the angle between these two will be also 30 degree now this component will be equal to 60 a cos of 30 degree into cos of 30 degree and similarly this component will be equal to 60 into a cos of 30 degree into sine of 30 degree so this is the first force now I will choose another marker to represent another force now there is a shear force over this and this force was 90 into a sine of 30 so 90 into a sine of 30 I will resolve similarly this will be there will be two component one in this direction in shear force direction other one is in this direction or you can say this is in this direction and this direction so this force will be here in this direction and the, this force will be here in this direction now you can see this force is perpendicular to this face clear and this force is perpendicular to this face clear so angle between them is 30 so this angle will be 30 degree again this component will be equal to 90 into a sine of 30 degree into cos of 30 degree and this component will be equal to 90 into a sine of 30 degree into sine of 30 degree so this force has also been resolved now there is a shear force over here and the value of this shear force is 90 into a cos of 30 degree that is given over here clear so we will also resolve this force so this force is when resolved so it will be a component in this direction parallel to this and other component will be in this direction and this angle will be 30 degree because you can see this is perpendicular to this face and this line is uh, this line is perpendicular to this face so this will be the 60 and this will be 30 degree clear i hope you will understand it now so this component will be equal to 90 into a cos of 30 into cos of 30 degree and this component this one this will be equal to 90 into a cos of 30 degree into sine of 30 degree now all the forces has been resolved into into its components so we will solve this equation so sum of all forces along you can say this is sigma dash or sum of all forces along sigma dash is equal to zero clear so you can see there is a force that is sigma dash into a in this direction clear and the other force is that is you can see this force which is in negative direction so minus you can also write it this 90 into a sine square 30 degree again the second one force is this one which is this one force and it is also acting downwards so minus 90 into a cause of 30 degree into sine of 30 degree and this force which is a positive direction plus 60 into a cos square 30 
30 degree their sum must be equal to 0 so again all the terms have a in common so if we divide both side of the equation with a so we will get we will get sigma dash will be equal minus 90 into sine square 30 degree minus 90 into uh, cos of 30 degree into sine of 30 degree clear plus 60 into cos square 30 degree will be equal to 0. Again if you look at uh, let me check it again we have 1 4 sigma a into dash clear the another force is this one this is cos and this is sine clear so this is cos and this is sine let me check this is cos of and this is sine clear so 90 degree into also we will check the angle let me check if this line is perpendicular to this face clear and this line is perpendicular to this face so the angle between this and this line will be 30 so this is 30 this is 60 so again this component will be equal to this component will be equal to sine of 30 remember the, in this question you will come through this such type of problem and this will this component will be equal to cos of 30 let me correct it cos of 30 i will repeat it you can see over here that this line the angle between this line and this line this is 60 degree clear so you can see this force is perpendicular to this plane this and this force is perpendicular to this plane so the angle between these two plane is 30 so angle between this force and this force will be 30 degree so you will have to correct it also you will correct it below equation so this is not sine square clear so you will correct it so 90 into a sine of 30 into cos of 30 minus again this is minus or plus minus because this is in downward direction and this is a cos of 30 now okay so we will also correct it over here so this will be equal to minus 90 into a sine of 30 into cos of 30 degree clear again you have to find this a sigma dash so sigma dash will be equal to plus 90 into a sine of 30 degree into cos of 30 degree plus this term which is again plus 90 into cos of 30 deg 30 degree into sine of 30 degree and minus this term when go you will over here will be minus 60 into cos square 30 degree clear so again this will be equal to 90 a sine 30 into cos 30 is common so 1990 will be equal to 180 into a sine of 30 plus uh, into cos of 30 degree minus 60 into 
cos square cos square 30 degree so when you solve this again this is sigma dash so when you solve sigma dash will be equal to 32.9 mega pascal so this is the normal stress on oblique plane now we will find the shear stress on oblique plane so i will write over here sum of all forces along tau dash is equal to zero so you can see there is a force i will divide the portion over here to not mix it up so tau dash into a and this force which is in this direction plus direction so this is minus because it is in this direction if you can assume it anywhere any anything so it will give you the same answer so one force is this 60 into a cos of 30 into sine of 30 clear so this force one is this force that is 90 into minus 90 into a sine square 30 and one is this force which is again in positive direction 90 plus 90 into a cos of 30 cos square 30 because cos of 30 cos of 30 their sum must be equal to 0 so again if the both have a so tau dash will be equal to 60 into cos of cos of 30 degree plus uh, it is sorry not plus it will be minus 90 into a sine square 30 plus 90 into not a again not because we have taken a common so 90 and uh, 90 into sine square 30 plus 90 into cos square 30 there sum must be equal to 0 and this tau dash will then equal to sixty into cos square cos of thirty again here I have been forget sign of thirty as well. Okay. Sixty cos of thirty into sign of thirty again you can take uh, ninety as common so if you take plus 90 as common so it will be equal to cos square 30 minus sine square 30 clear so when you solve this this tau dash will become equal to 71 mega pascal so this normal stress comes out to be on oblique plane comes out to be 32.9 mega pascal and this shear stress is 71 mega pascal i hope you have enjoyed the video uh, thank you for watching